everybody. Welcome back to the garage. It's Sunday afternoon. It's a beautiful day in the middle of February here in the upstate of South Carolina. Daytona 500 is being run up there on my television in the garage, so I'm watching it time to time. But I'm feeling real nostalgic today, and I wanted to make a video. You see, I got some pot here out. Ooh, you know what that means. I'm feeling real nostalgic, and I'm thinking about Granny's Fried Chicken. Granny's Fried Chicken. How many of you guys and gals who are watching my little videos, how many of you had a granny? Stick your hand up. Well, I had a granny. And I know that a lot of the, the newer generation, they didn't have grannies. They had Meemaws and, and Meemaws and Ninas and whatever, but I had a granny. So I told you in some previous videos that about how my dad was raised by his aunt and his uncle. And his aunt, or the woman that basically raised him, and probably looked at and loved like mama, was Granny Whitfield. And her name was Lois Gleason Whitfield. And here's a picture of old Granny. All right, so, when I came along, I was a little squirt, and I remember us going up to Granny and Papa Whitfield's every Sunday. Well, it seemed like every Sunday. And we would go up there, man, and she'd have this big spread. And, and you know, today we're all so obsessed about, you know, keeping things cold and safe and germ-free. And, and I can remember we would go up there, and Granny would have all the food laid out on this big table. It seemed big to a five, six, seven-year-old. But she'd have all this food laid out on this table with a big white sheet over the top of it, okay? And it would just sit there from that Sunday morning, they'd go to church and all that, and we would get up there after they got home from church, and, and she would just go in there and snatch that big white sheet off of that table. And man, it was just seemed like to a, you know, a little guy like me, there was just, you know, food everywhere. We'd have, you know, of course, Granny's fried chicken. Butter beans and and you name it, man. It was there, field peas, ham, whatever, whatever she had prepared. And it was just laying on this table all day with the sheet covered over it. And man, nowadays we'd never dream of doing that. But you know, I think you can take it a little too far. It's okay to put your food out, throw a sheet over it like Granny did. Man, I love it and I just miss it. Man, that was the good old days, you know what? The good old days. And I think many of you can say the same thing. Leave that in your comments, okay? Tell me your story about your granny in the good old days, back in the 50s and the 60s and the early 70s, about how Granny's Fried Chicken is just that, that's that comfort item that we so miss. And you know what? We're gonna make some Granny's Fried Chicken out here in the garage, on the top of the wood heater in the old pot. And I hope you enjoy it. Guys, we got the pot getting hot. We got the fire rolling inside the wood heater. And we're gonna get this thing up to somewhat of a good hot temperature. And then we're gonna start putting in the uh, shortening. That's what I do fried chicken in, shortening. And I believe that's what Granny used as well. All right, everybody, let's look at what we got here. Now, my mother, who's still alive, thankfully, my sweet mama, she's the only human on earth still living that I know of who cooked chicken with Granny. In fact, my mother and dad lived with Granny and Papa Whitfield for about a year, year and a half. After they first got married and they were getting on their feet and all that, and my mother worked with Granny around the farm and around the house and learned a lot of stuff from old Granny. And you know, there was no secret recipe to Granny's fried chicken. Mama said that, you know, she left the skin on the chicken and just salted and peppered the daylights out of it and rolled it in some flour and threw it in some hot shortening. And I hate to say it, that's really all there is to it. And my recipe is a little, little different, but we're gonna do Granny's thing for the most part. We're gonna put some shortening. Got that right here. I got my chicken in here. And uh, what I did on my chicken was I did, I've got it soaking in a little dab of olive oil with one egg mixed up in it. 
one egg mixed up in it, okay? Got that soak in there. I got a little bit of cornmeal. I got a little bit of flour. And in here, I've just got salt and pepper. And I believe we got a little garlic salt maybe mixed in. I also have a little dab of paprika, some cayenne pepper. So we're gonna take Granny's fried chicken and maybe uh, modify it a little bit because I don't have the original recipe other than what my mother remembers about flour and lots of salt and pepper. So that's what we're gonna do, man. So I got the pot getting hot and we're gonna go start melting some of this here. Shortening and getting it ready to go. All right, guys. While the grease is getting good and hot over there in the pot, I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken seasoned and breaded and laid on this rack and ready to go into the hot grease. Okay guys, so I like to use Martha White and, and just uh, some of you may remember this way back, I can remember watching reruns or, or maybe a rehashing of uh, an old uh, variety show that had Tennessee Ernie Ford on it and it was sponsored by Martha White. Donkey Baby Ride. Uh, uh, Martha White. Yes, man. Goodness gracious, good and light, Martha White. I remember that from when I was a little kid, seeing it on TV. And you know, you remember when you was a kid, dude, they went for three channels, and you couldn't pick up but two of them, unless you went out and turned the antenna, you know? So that's kind of in line with our nostalgia today. I remember having to go outside and turn the TV antenna to pick up that third station. another nostalgia thing for you guys. I can remember back after we come home from Granny's on Sunday, that evening, we would watch the Walt Disney television show that would come on. We would watch Wild Kingdom. Hello, welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. I know y'all remember that, Wild Kingdom, and then we would watch the Walt Disney television show. <laughs> Wonderful world of Disney. And there was a cartoon that would come on there. That's my old buddy Mitch King's favorite. Or the park ranger and the bears. And he did this little song about picking up the letter. And it was like, first you take your bag, put it in the bag, bump, bump. Then you bend your bag, put it in the sack, bump, bump. That's the way it's done. It's a lot of fun, bump, bump. Cutting papers, putting papers in the bag. Pick up the trash, put it in the bag, bump, bump. Anyway, hilarious. Good stuff, man. Leave that in your comments, too, guys. Wild Kingdom and, and the Walt Disney Television Show on Sunday nights. All right, gang, are you guys ready? I know I'm ready. Let's get the lid off of this thing. Hot dang, boy, she's hot. She's ready to go. Might be too hot, but just chicken on. Cool it down fast. Alright, we'll do two pieces at a time. Alright, guys, let's give this chicken a check out on here and let's turn it over. Woo! Look at that. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man! Oh, Granny would be proud. Alright, so that chicken's gonna be ready to come off here in just a few minutes. It ain't gonna be long. We'll be putting it on the plate and putting the second batch in. Good. Let's open this thing up. Woo! Oh, my goodness, look at that. Did you smell it through that video screen? I sure wish you could. Granny's fried chicken, boy. Mm. My wife's gonna love the shop cloth. It's clean. All right, batch number two coming right up. Ooh, 
boy, look at that. All right, let's get her covered. Set the clock. Match out. Oh yeah. Look at that, man. Mmm. Lord. Look at that. Man. My sweet wife's already tried to get a piece of this, and I told her she had to wait. So it's all done. Fantastic. Mm. All right, everybody, we're done. Granny's fried chicken. Man, can't wait to dig into this. My sweet wife in there, she was doing something on the computer and was trying to get a piece of it earlier. I said, mm, no, no, you gotta wait till I get it all done and in the plate. Right, guys, I want to do a special shout out to my wife, Willa Mike No on YouTube, Willa Jean to me, my sweet baby doll. She helps me with all of this, man. She gets all the ingredients together for me, and I can't thank her enough. She's in there on the computer right now working on some special thumbnails for me. If you notice, I do have a handful of my videos have a little special colorful thumbnail at the beginning, and she makes those for me. And I can't thank her enough. What a great wife. She lets me get out here in the garage and just supports me in every way possible. What a good woman. And hey, if you got one, a good wife, good husband, go hug her neck, tell them you love her. Well, hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video of Granny's Fried Chicken, and hey, I hope you come back for the next videos. You're going to enjoy them. Oh, this is so yeah, good. Granny's Fried Chicken, guys. Yeah.